Good evening, Principal Beaver, faculty, parents, and students. Greetings and welcome to the NHS induction ceremony at Kappa High School. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the NHS advisors and committee of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of the Kappa High School NHS chapter. We hope this will serve to remind the students of the standards of excellence they are expected to maintain as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Noblesse oblige is the motto of the National Honor Society. This is a French term, which means nobility obligates, which roughly translates to mean the obligation of honorable, generous, and responsible behavior associated with high rank of birth. As such, it is our mission as an organization to not only accept the honor of this station for its prestige, but to also apply it to life as we act with honor, generosity, and with responsibility to others. Our chapter is proud to induct its newest members, as today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that our school and community exemplifies. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models of, uh, for other students. In addition to strong academic records with established their membership, their, for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations, and they serve our school and community through participation in a variety of activities. We are proud of these record accomplishments and welcome the students before us who bring new energy and in support of our continuing work as NHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in Kappa High School NSH chapter has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of four qualities that serve as standards for society. A few new members will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with the right of scholarship. And I'd like to introduce our newly inducted president, Jordan Neff. Take it away. The right of scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to commit hours to reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn, even when a formal education has ended. Learning empowers us to critically think about how we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Next is Vice President Amber. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in extracurricular activities, a leader strives to train and aid others in reaching their common goals for success. The price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will move forward when others hesitate. The guidance of a wise leader is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. The newly elected secretary, Emily Majorano, will now read the right of service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help those both at school and in the community. 
a willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and for our entire student body. Those committed to service are dependable, well-organized, and enthusiastic. Collectively, a commitment to service adds value and fulfillment to the work that we do, and we are committed to volunteering our time and our talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. Our newly elected treasurer, Zaya Espinosa, will now read the right of character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is the force of character that guides one through life, and once developed, grows steadily within. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily strive to make the right choice. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, and caring, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. We'd like to thank our speakers for sharing with us the rights of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. At this time now, I'd like to introduce our parliamentarian, Hope Pil Pohill, who will lead us through the induction pledge for our new inductees. Hope, take it away. At this time, will the new inductees please raise your right hand and repeat the NHS pledge. I pledge to uphold. I pledge, I pledge to uphold, uphold. the high purposes of the, the, the high purposes of the, of the National Honor Society, National, National Honor Society, to which I have been selected. To which, to which I, have I have been, been selected. selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. And will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Of scholarship, leadership, leadership service, and character. character. That was absolutely wonderful. We now have the new un inductees for Kappa NHS Society. Woo! It is at this time now that we welcome our fearless leader and principal, Joanne Beaver, to give us closing remarks for these wonderful students. Joanne Beaver. The floor is yours. Thank you, Ms. White. Thanks so much to all of our guests who are here this evening. I hope that all parents and family members are with us to watch this amazing uh, accomplishment of your children. Having listened carefully to the four pillars of what it means to be in the National Honor Society and looking at each and every one of you, it is clear why you are here tonight. It is easy to just get good grades, but you were chosen for four different reasons. And each and every one of you exemplifies those four pillars. Not only are you extraordinary students, but you are leaders in the building. Your voices are heard and, and, and accepted, and you are valued by not only the teachers that you work with, but by your peers. You also are extremely involved and give service to the community at Kappa and at large. And you are outstanding individuals and each and every one of you has character that will take you through life. 
This is a moment that we hope you will always remember. And like I said to you earlier, before we were live, we are going to have a real celebration together in the building to celebrate all of your accomplishments. I'm so proud that you managed to get to this moment, even in the most challenging of times. That's nothing uh, to take lightly. It's a huge thing that you are here and that even in the most challenging of obstacles, you have managed to maintain the character, the scholarship, the leadership, and the service that you bring to our community. And so I'm so proud of each and every one of you. And I salute you. And remember, you are now part of an exclusive club at Kappa, and you have earned the right to be there. And I can't wait for the day when we are back together again to celebrate this in person. Thank you so much to Ms. White and to Ms. Cassidy for putting this together and reviewing all of the applications. We remember, and also remember, you were here because you were chosen to be here. And we look forward to uh, all of the wonderful and amazing things you're gonna go ahead and do in your lives in the, in, in the future. So I also wanna, while, while I have the floor, I wanna give a huge shout out to Mr. Beckett for making this virtual induction possible. So he is the guy behind the scenes and he, is made, he has made all this impossible, possible. So thank you so much. Have a great evening, everybody. Go do something to celebrate yourselves and see you all soon.